Hello, we're going up against, uh, oh god. Sorry, I, said, I, did, I forgot the welcome, welcome, welcome. Here's your welcome, welcome, welcome. Looks like we're going up against AI-generated Stalin. I don't know, I don't want to insult the original artist if it isn't AI-generated, but it kind of has that, like, doll look to it. I love some speed, I love some crawlers. I don't mind arc lights. Like, we've built some pretty cool things around arc lights. We've also done some cool things around the fang. But crawlers are just so much more fun. I love them. So what did he go for? He went for tanks and marksmen. Oh, you were in for a bad time. So let's make it so that our boys split up. Let's go ahead and put these guys back here behind the last line of crawlers. Actually, you know what? Let's put our phoenixes on the outside edges so that if anything ever does spawn out there, it's kind of covered. And then crawler, crawler. So you're going to be a flanking crawler. You're going to be a flanking crawler. And you're the, the center line crawler. I'll, I'll put you a little further ahead, maybe. M maybe here. Let's see what he does. He got arc lights. Very good decision on his part. Uh, the heavy hammers do have an AoE. The arc lights AoE is seven more meters. It's a pretty notable difference. He might have me. I don't know. These Feni will get a lot of work done from range behind. I mean, uh, you know what? He's doing okay, isn't he? The thing about the Phoenix is they're fast. Yeah, get the, get the stabbies. Come on, boys. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Yeah, Phoenix. Phoenix over top. We just needed enough front line to make it happen. Um, improved fortress. Underground threat is lovely. I almost always go for the fortress. It's going to be okay against these units. Um, the Stormcaller is also going to be okay against these units. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get Crawler. Crawler. And Speed Boots instead of Replicators. And I don't really know where to put them, if I'm honest. Something like this seems to make sense to me. But I don't know. We kind of broke through in the center more than we did the side. Still. He might get just more of the same. Okay, he got some fangs. Good for him. He's also deploying level 2 units. Which, I mean, makes a lot of sense. Come on, speed boost. Speed boost. No, we don't have enough DPS. We have a good uh, engagement from the gang. But we just don't have enough firepower. Now, that might be something we can solve with a Stormcaster. Or our own snipers. And right now, our own snipers is something I'm really liking the idea of. Extended range. This is free, and I think it's actually worthwhile. Um, you're upgradable, you're upgradable. Marksman, one, two. Then we come over here. Plus one, marksman again. One here. One here. A little bit farther further forward, I think, would be good. Because our units are gonna outrun these marksmen. And then if if health is what we need to close the distance, I think that's what we get. Are we are the the speed specialist, right? Yeah, okay. I'm not I'm not crazy. He got more marksmen, it looks like? Interesting. 
So we're taking out their uh, front line boys pretty quick here. But again, I think the storm caller is the real winner here. If we can get one of those built up, we will be way better off. Like this is good, but I mean, they just have more snipers than us, right? Like, this guy's gonna beat mine. Just the range is better. But I think that was good. We, we we definitely improved our squad a lot just now. And if we get a couple of storm callers, especially if we get some bonus for it. Ground giant. Uh... Prototype shield that we can keep redeploying every other round seems pretty good. Storm caller. One, two. So that's going to be able to decimate those uh, boys. I could even give the range up, but I don't think that makes sense. Um, you can get upgraded. You can get upgraded. You can get upgraded. And that leaves us enough for the attack technology. Um, I feel like they're pretty symmetrical right now. Let's, uh, let's put this here. So he got, what is this? Increased damage, but with charged shots, okay. So look at that, there's the storm callers. They're actually immediately doing damage on the tanks and everything, uh, which is nice. I think they could do for a little bit more range, but it's not strictly necessary. But I think if they could outrange a lot of these things, it'd be better. But you can see, you can see the level of, like, uh, counter that that was. Now, one thing that we lack a lot of is anti-air. Uh, increase the attack of all my units. Yes, yes, yes. Let's see where this leaves us. I'd have a hundred left after buying two artillery pieces. I think what I'll do though is buy extended range. And then two more marksmen. Uh, and these ones can go further on the flank. They could put flankers down, but at least I have my crawlers right now. So I think that works for us. Okay, so how do we break a fortress shield faster? More, uh, more snipers. I mean, the snipers do how much damage? Attack, 6,000. And your shield is like 50 or 60, yeah. Well, I don't know, it went down pretty quick. You guys did get the range bonus. A hundred percent more damage, but the interval goes is worse. I don't know that that's better or worse. I mean, it's definitely more damage, right? It's 15% less attack speed, but 100% more damage. Is that worth the cost? I don't know. But I have two units, and they are getting kills. This guy has damage for that round. Attack of the unit equipped is increased by 200%. Well, damn. Let's keep getting some upgrades here. Honestly, give it to the give it to the storm caller. I have faith. Um two more storm callers going down as well. These ones can be slightly further back? No. I don't know where I want them. Probably here and over here. No, they're too easy to flank if I don't put them there. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's get an additional unit. And it could be another storm caller. I actually don't love that. You don't have air attack. You do have air attack. 
I'm just gonna get another a squatty here of, of crawlers and make sure the front line stays together. I can't buy any of this stuff, or at least I don't want to. That's good. So he got another shield. The shield? Oh, he's doing a big freaking. He's gonna kill me, okay? And that's fine. But he spent a lot of money on some flame and some other things, which, I mean, good for him. I mean, I still have quite a bit left. Not enough, I know, but like, you know, enough to shoot, shoot, shoot. Storm callers. These are not my uh, improved ones either. I do think I want to give them increased damage, like, because sometimes they're just not even waiting to shoot, right? Like, this would have done way more damage. So every couple rounds, he's going to have the ability to summon that amount of stuff against me. He only has one leader, right? He's got these two things. I hate, like, all of these, except for maybe recruitment costs decreased. And I actually like what he's doing, quite frankly. Fortress with some with some big shields. I got something earlier that made them more expensive, and now I got something that makes them less expensive. So you with a shield, and then you again with a shield. And that's protecting my stormy boys. And then yeah, I got a lot of other things that aren't in the shield, but that will be enough to just tank it because then these guys here have the 200% damage increase and if I give them the anti freaking shells oh baby oh I forgot about my uh my shield airdrop I don't think I've used that for several rounds I should be using that every other round that's a huge faux pas on my side. I mean I've been doing pretty well in terms of wins but we could be winning harder we got all these crawlers go. They're not even really connecting with the enemy. They are a little bit, but that's why the replicator doesn't make sense. The enemy has a lot of like AOE stuff, but that's fine by me. I mean, once again, they've got these guys doing the marksman stuff, but with their towers going down, ooh, baby. Now, one thing I ne I haven't considered is just spawning one crawler on his back line. It would cost me like 150 because I need to make it like a bonus deployment. Orbital Javelin. I don't mind getting my own uh, thing like that. We'll put that here. Let's do a round of upgrading. More fangs, not needed. Turning off people's powers might be cool. But no, nah, you basically get the kill if you get the kill. So you get that. More level ups. All of you guys are level up ready. I'm just watching my cash. I want to be able to deploy. Uh, what do I want to be able to deploy? They have these arc lights in the back line. I could deploy air units back there. I don't think it's worthwhile. Um, quite frankly, I think you just put out another freaking giant boy. Tank some shots. Add in another freaking long distance marksman. And, uh, I mean, I don't know. His team is pretty symmetrical. And so is mine. So I don't see the need to really throw down some shield right now like i'd rather i don't think i can see anything flanking we're gonna hold on to the shield for another round so here comes the missiles they are enough to tear through a whole bunch of things and that's without the uh attack bonus but look at them go man yeah baby i wonder if i should get the incendiary because my melee dudes are dead by the time they get there anyway. It's not that big a deal. But like, oh, I don't think we need them though. 
being able to turn off their power-ups? No, I'd rather just them die. Is that it? And that's GG, actually. Yeah, we were just way ahead of Vlad the Inhaler. Am I? How laggy am I? See, I'm good sometimes, but when the battle peaks up, I can see it chopping out of the corner of my eye. I don't care, though. I'm having too much fun. Vlad, I'm sorry, dude. You were my next victim. We're, we're like, I don't even know, 10 and 2 at this point or something like that. I wonder, does it give you your stats? Like, how many wins and losses? Defeated, 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 defeated. I mean... These are only my wins, though. Like, I want... Vlad was a big 36-point thing for us, though. Huh. Anyways, that was really fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Ciao for now.